Hello, gamer Nom is back, and you are watching a noob to pro video with the rework Quake Fruit. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Five percent of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the echo slam, oh, there it is. forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Before we start grinding, by the way, I already got. The Roblox verification badge, so my goal here is to reach 100,000 followers to get a Roblox trophy, guys. So please follow my account, again, GamerNom, at maybe it's my fault with the verification badge. Okay, so I think it is now time to eat this quake fruit. Wait, why is he not eating it? I think it's lagging, guys. Okay, yeah, it's lagging. Check it out. He's eating the air. <laughs> anyway, let's just focus. On the first kill, the Quake Punch. So here it is. First question, is it multi-target? Good thing guys, yes, it is a check. Next up, Gamer Nom, how's the damage? Guys, for me, damage is really good. Another check. But is the Fruit Elemental? No! No! Sadly, no, but guys, for me, it's fine because the damage of this Fruit is really good. Especially when you unlock the final skill. Okay, so at level 15, we will leave this island and shout out to these dudes. There you go, to Dash and to Zin Kun. They are looking for the stat check. So from now on, we're gonna check our stats. Melee 10, Dust Fruits 34. So moving on to our next island, the Fountain City. Guys, we are here for Fast Mastery. You need 50 Mastery to unlock the next skill. So how do you do it? We are going to defeat Gali Pirates. And the technique is just lure him in the wall. Do not worry, you won't get damage. So you're gonna start with a Z skill and dodge to the side. There you go. And use your left clicks. As you will wait for your Z skill to cool down your quick punch. There you go. Just keep on punching for extra damage. And then after that, Z skill. Okay, again guys, Z skill. Dodge to the side to dodge his attacks. There you go. Repeat. One last thing, make sure to last hit him using your Quake Fruit or your Z skill, okay? Okay, so just by defeating, I think, a 5 to 7 Gali Pirates, you will unlock your X skill, the Quake Wave. There you go. So now you have two skills to damage your enemy. So grinding will be faster. We will leave this area at level 55. And then let's check our stats. 15 million defense, blocks fruits 135. Next up, the Pirate Village. We will just level up 5 times here with Bobby the Clown, so do some server hop technique, Z skill. Guys, same with the Gali Pirate. Wait for it to attack, there you go. Dodge to the side, use your skills. Dodge to the side, then use your skills. Okay, that's it. You only need to defeat him thrice to reach level 61. Mastery check. You need 100 masteries to unlock the next skill and we have 71. Next island is the Desert. So here, we're gonna start defeating the Desert Bandits. You need to lure. Use your Z and X skill to defeat them. Guys, you need to grind 15 levels here until you reach level 75. After that, next mob is the Desert Officers. Same strategy here. We won't be unlocking a new skill, so we're gonna leave here at level 90. Next island is the Frozen Village. Before that, here are the stats. Melee 20, Defense 20, Block Fruits 230. Again, in the Frozen Village, we will start grinding with the Snow Bandits. You need to grind here, again, another 15 levels. 105 is a target level. And next stop is the Yeti. For the strategy, just use your Z skill or X skill. Knock back. Wait for him to go back and use your skill and that's it. Yes, guys, it's very easy. You just need to be patient. So while doing server hop, this happened. Check it out, guys. A high level player. So I'm thinking, why is he here? Turns out he's helping this dude. There you go to grind. Guys, this happened. <laughs> His friend almost died with the Yeti. Check that out. So I help him. There you go. Guys, he did not die. He leveled up. But his friend killed me. What a friend. Anyway, guys. At 1.30, we're gonna leave this area. So here are the stats. Next island is the Marine Fortress. So here, we're gonna start defeating the... Wait, guys. Someone's there? Okay. His target is the Vice Admiral, same with us. So just we're just gonna help him. We're not gonna attack him. Let's head to his area and he is losing. So again guys, we're just gonna help him. Again, no PK, no PvP. We're gonna do our best to not hit him. There you go. So far, things are good. 
Okay, let's lure the enemy. Okay, guys. So now it's our time to attack. Okay. Guys, check this out. Boom. Guys, I killed him. So again, bro, we are sorry for that. But the good thing is, he got also got experience. Check this out. We're gonna defeat it. I go. Okay, shout out to you, bro, and sorry. Okay, so back to our skills, guys. We will unlock all our skills here. Yes, the quick erupt, C skill, Master 100. Here it is. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Not bad with the damage. Next skill at 150, Mastery Dual Tsunami. Here it is, the strongest skill of this fruit. So let's wait for it. There you go, guys. <laughs> I'm kinda excited. Oh, the damage is 1147. Not bad. Guys, at this level, you can defeat the Vice Admiral with only 7 skills. Not bad, right? Anyways, our target level here is 220. And after that, let's check our stats first. Melee defense 60, blocks fruits 540. Next island is the prison. So here guys, we have 3 bosses to defeat. But there is a problem, guys. So guys, we can defeat the bosses, all the bosses with the wall strat, right? But if you use your dual tsunami, you can hit lots of mobs and you can also hit other players. Yes, other players who are grinding here. Check that out. I'm in combat now. And the worst part is I lured the swan. <laughs> so there is a chance that I might create lots of enemies here. So what can you do gamer nom? Add them as allies or just keep on grinding. There are also players that are marines so you cannot add them. So if you see one, just avoid using your dual tsunami. Check this out, he's a marine. He's minding his business and I'm minding my own business, okay? Okay, so keep on grinding here. Sorry, we killed someone. Ah, uh, guys, we killed lots of players here. So I decided to leave this area at level 300 and went to the Magma Village. Guys, this is rare. We're gonna defeat military soldiers. So technique here is you're just gonna lure four. There you go, four military soldiers. And then lure them in the bridge and use all your skills. Actually, guys, you only need one combo to defeat them, which is not really hard. There you go. Boom. Okay, so you're gonna keep on grinding here until you reach level 350. After that, target is Magma Admiral, Whitebeard versus Akainu, Ace, you are not forgotten. Pops, Whitebeard will avenge you. Okay, so we're gonna grind here until you reach level 425. And after that, next island. Oh, let's stat check first again. 150 mil defense, block fruits, 978. Next island is the underwater city. So here, our target is the boss, the Fishman Lord. So we're gonna lure him, and I'm gonna answer a question. Gamer Nom, can you damage the Fishman Lord with the Dual Tsunami? Guys, the answer here is yes. For our strategy, we're gonna use the Wall Strat. Yes, it's a check. We can damage him with the Dual Tsunami. There you go. So target level is 500. Next island is the Skylands. And the target is Whisper, guys. I don't know if this is part of the rework, but guys, aside from doing the stone strat, right? You cannot get hit by the Whisper when you're standing in this stone. There you go. Aside from that, you can now use your dual tsunami. I don't know if this is new or part of the rework, but from what I know, guys, you cannot use it when you're in the Skylands, okay? So at 625, we are going down and heading to our final island, but here are our stats block fruits 1425 build defense 225 final island is the fountain city so our target here is wait someone's already here and fighting someone with the soul fruit and the light fruit <laughs> i think we're just gonna train servers because this dudes will oof us <laughs> okay guys so for the galley pirates guys check this out you're gonna need to lure four of them okay lure four Use your Z skill. Don't forget to cast your V skill. And one more skill is enough to defeat them. Guys, that's very easy. You don't need to go to the cyborg. You don't need to defeat the galley captains. All you need to do is focus on these mobs until you reach level 700. Okay, guys, so I think that's it for this video. If you want me to continue this and reach max level, make sure to share it to your friends so that it will reach 200,000 views and if that happens, yes, we will do it, okay? 
Okay, guys, so I think that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.